right guys it's team three starting back with another one piece generous video and in today's video uh i finally got this showcase down uh i'm gonna be showcasing on um, virgo uh i thought i had my in-game <laughs> now noise up but i guess not uh for these matches uh i actually did use a ray instead of garp so you know just taking a look at the party power like for this one this is my grand line setup i actually have two setups for today uh, this is uh, Zoan, or not Zoan, uh, Runners, Draw Hat Pirates, uh, Paramecia, and Grand Line. So more defensively built, uh, you know, greens. It is my higher percentage as of right now. I think in general, uh, I'm not too sure if my reds are higher, but it's a 157.2 with Garb as a side unit, like I said. But I did use Ray in this video, and this in this video for these matches. Uh, and then my second setup right here is my um, my New World set. Uh, this is more like recent uh, since it did swap out a couple of units for you know percentages you know you can see like Bon and, and uh, Kiji are in my support not exactly the best but uh, it works for what it is since I do get my attacker tag that I wanted for this one I have attackers Straw Hat Pirates um, Paramecia New World this is more offensive base like I said a little bit of grind line as well as you can see a little halfway and halfway or halfway and then, and then full uh, but I mainly do use the uh, grand line build since I do like tanking a little bit more uh, you'll, you'll see in this video like Virgo just does a lot of damage anyway, so it's not really that much of a problem uh, Right here looking at the chat himself uh, 33 out of 52 boost. I'm still working on it. I'm so close to getting him uh, Fully boosted three because uh, I should have enough character orbs and uh, four star orbs to 52 out of 52 him It's gonna burn through my <laughs> my coins. That's for sure But it, I think it's fine for what it is for the metal set, I'm actually just using one metal set for him. This is my Boa attacker set. My main, just, I call it Chad Go set because it's the one that I made for him. Uh, so for the trio effect, you get Gorgon Sisters. When your uh, allies are near the treasure area where you're at, increase damage up by 10%. So if I'm with people in my treasure area, I'm taking, I'm doing more damage. Captain with capture speed by 14%, that's always a pretty good tag. Sadly, you don't get no trio because I don't, I'm not using the, um, the bikini Boa, you'll see why. Uh, Pair effect, Paramecia as well, you get dodge cooldown by, by 7%. And then trio effect, Kuja Pirates, when your allies are not near the treasure where you're at, reduce damage by 10%. So, you know, uh, with the whole tankingness with the uh, Grand Line, this actually goes hand in hand with uh, the whole tag. Uh, seven Warlords of the Sea right here, you get cooldown of skill 2 by 14%. And then Sabaody, uh, Archipelago, and Island of Women, you get skill 1 uh, by 20%. So right here, just taking a look at the percentages, it's 12, 14, 14 with HP, attack, attack, uh, HP, attack, and HP, 18, 14, 14. And then for the last one is 14, 14, 14 all the way around with attack, attack, HP. Looking at the percentages right here, I'm up to 58% attack or HP and 70% uh, attack as well. Um, I'm so close to getting the 70, 70. If I did well for the, uh, the 24, um, you know, HP rolls, I would have gladly used them on him, but I mean, it is what it is. I would give him a little bit more defense, to be honest, since he does get a defense buff. Um, but yeah, the reason I'm rocking this uh, Sandasonia instead of a, a Bikini Boa is first, I didn't have Bikini Boa at that time. I did pull her when I was playing for Luffy with those 400 gems. So that's just something to note. Uh, and then also the tag uh, after KOing an enemy, reduce cooldown time of skill 2 by 8%. Since you'll see me kill a lot in these matches. Uh, like I said, Virgo does a lot of damage, even with, you know, not fighting Logias, especially because, you know, the number one Logia in the game right now is a Kainu and, you know, type advantage. So you see me actually doing more damage to blue units that aren't Logias compared to Kainu, which I do get my, you know, my, my attack up. But yeah, there's my cooldown of skill 2. This one is when your team has more treasure secured, a cooldown of skill 1 by 13%. One of my favorite skill to use with him is skill 1 for sure. Uh, you'll see a Y <laughs> if you didn't see by the beginning meme or clips, whatever I do put. And then for the blue bubble, one is attacking enemy in the round your enemy's treasure, increased damage dealt by 5%. So fighting in their treasure is actually more beneficial to me. Uh, for his skills, uh, first one is either way, you'll be disappearing. Uh, it's a long range attack with chance of stun. Increased damage against Logia users, nullify stagger for a set period of time. Acquires defense debuff effect at level 5. So once again, it stuns. But the thing that people don't realize about this skill, uh, shouts to Retro, I had a, I had a match with him uh, yesterday, uh, this recording, this is uh, Tuesday, um, I was playing against him and he was like, damn bro, I didn't know that, you know, Virgo can hit people twice or, you know, <laughs> his skills are hard to dodge because you never fight him. But for this skill, this actually, since the explosion actually lingers a little bit, it actually hits people twice uh, at certain times. It depends on how I aim it, uh, you know, if it's 
you know, straight at them, it'll hit them twice. You'll see, uh, that's how I kill Usopp's pretty easily uh, since they stay stunned with the extra life. So that's just something to notice as well. Um, really good fucking skill. It has a long, long range. It's not like Bagram type range. It's more like, I want to say, maybe Skypea Zoro's type, uh, the, the long range uh, 108 pound Phoenix. So that's just something else to note as well. Um, and then skill two is uh, Demon Bamboo. This is his main, main skill. Uh, this is also another reason why I did summon for him since this skill is it's really fucking fun to use if you really like to use a CP9 Luchi back in like the day uh, You know when he first came out him being just a fucking monster and things like that uh, You'll really like this skill obviously uh, you'll see exactly why because the teleport but um, For this one it's uh, begins charging by holding down the skill one button if you let go of the skill before the charge is completed The charge will cancel and you will attack normally if the charge that's finished you will unleash a different attack nullify stagger for a set period of time so what well, the skills having nullify stagger is already like a plus uh for a step up obviously um and then for the not charged uh step it's uh the attack is 453 it's attack increased by 30 percent when it's charged um the effect of time is 20 seconds for the attack buff uh skill attack goes um the same you know number 453 but ignores defense and also knocks back and the cooldown is 29 seconds so you'll see exactly why i'm using skill 2 or you know kills for skill 2 cooldown it's because of this skill uh like i said you can teleport with him um it's very very iffy i'll be honest because uh you have to like kind of aim it properly you'll see a couple of times even when i charge it up all the way like i won't teleport but uh it's just you know auto aim or aiming it just you know figure out what exactly the range is from where you can teleport and can't uh there's a couple of maps actually that you can teleport from top to bottom i haven't been able to get a good you know clip of it because i can't really do it i'll be honest but a lot of people have told me when um when i dropped my my uh the michael jackson you know meme video with him they said oh you know try him out in in drum island you can teleport under where the um the flag is so like if it's like the b flag or or not be a c or d flag uh that's the flag that i'm talking about uh you can actually teleport under there if you can like you know <laughs> aim it right it's pretty hard to aim i'll be honest but i have seen it and i've done it before uh, i just i don't get it on clip that's the only thing that sucks but um you know just keeping that i know that this skill does teleport a lot of people once again don't know that um you know it's just something else to know Press traits, uh, character trait number one, attacking character type Logia enemy, increase damage dealt by 30%. When you're attacking a uh, character type Logia enemy, increase cooldown time of any dodging by 30% and recover HP by 5%. This trait right here, this second trait, people always forget about that, that he has this. And this is why I've, I've always been, uh, you know, preaching the good word about Virgo, because one, I mean, I, I, I genuinely love him uh, as a fucking unit, it's really fun. But the, uh, this this one right here, um, since I know the ma major hype units that are going to come out right now, uh, especially, you know, V2 Blackbeard, especially if he is blue, you won't need a counter because you have him right here. One, he's a Logia and a Paramecia, uh, you know, with the, the, the dark fruit that he has. Him being a Logia, you can take his dodge away and heal off normals. So he's a, this guy Virgo is going to be really, really good uh when blackbeard drops i know a lot of people are gonna start start to try to use him so you know i guess use this video as kind of like a guide <laughs> if you really want to but uh yeah that that one right there taking away their dodge a lot of people do forget about that i remember i was on mamba's stream a couple of days ago no it was, it was, it was a while ago it was like weeks uh he was using a kainu and uh we matched and i was using virgo and when i was smacking him he didn't he was like oh shit you know he takes away the dodge i didn't know that and you know when you can continuously smack him it's 30 percent it's 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 a pretty big you know percentage i'm not exactly sure uh how much a kainu takes away from you but i mean this is like the step up version of it um so you know just kind of telling you something um you know how good he's gonna be later on uh with that whole trait you know you can just keep on you can do smack smack and then another one so one two one and then do into the skill one that's what i usually do a lot um you know just trying to take their dodge so they can't really get it out of the out of the skill right that's why I kind of go out of my way to fight Akainus and uh, Blackbeard too, for that matter. Um, but yeah, just keep that trait in mind. Um, for the trait 1, uh, when attacking an enemy and around your enemy's treasure, increase damage dealt by 30%. So once again, fighting people and their treasure, it's a little bit more beneficial for him. Uh, when you're using skill 2, reduce the cooldown uh, time of skill 1 by 10% and defense boost by 20% for 10 seconds. So this is another reason why I do have the... Um, the, the kill on skill 2 so I can get my skill 1 quicker and also get defense 
uh, 20% for a buff. And then trait two is receiving damage from an enemy that has more than 50% of your master XP. Reduce damage received by 30%. So, I mean, damage reduction in, in a step up is always, always a W, uh, at least in my eyes. And then when you're down, inflict self with status or nullify stagger for 10 seconds. So, I mean, once again, more nullify stagger for him. So that's always really good. And then since he's boost two, he gets critical damage by 20%. So that's just another thing to notice. Um, I actually haven't gotten his top one, sadly. Uh, and then towards the end of the video, since this is one of, I guess, like a character mastery type thing, uh, I'll probably name it something around that, those lines. Uh, I'm kind of taking inspiration from Swarly's really old videos, so shout out to him, of course. Uh, I'll link those in the description, so you know there's no like problem if <laughs> if he does see this. But um, you know I'll have at the end, you know, like his maps that are good, disadvantages, things like that. So uh, look forward to that as well at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, here's fucking uh, Chad Virgo, whatever you want to call him, mid Virgo. You'll you'll see at these uh, at the end of these matches, uh, really really solid gameplay. Um, if you do want to see more Virgo, a uh, little slight little plug. Um, I did send Mamba gameplay a while ago, so you can check that out as well. Same thing with Gaming Kami, and same thing with Barto Play. So shout out to them, of course. Uh, if I do remember, I'll put those videos in the description as well. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I like it cause you
Nice shot! I'm literally in a tank, get you're not. Get out of the You're loot. not my dad. Literally, get out of the tank. <laughs> Tell me, it's ability. I don't give a fuck. Stop, get, get out of the fucking tank. No. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. I like to cut you. Thank you. 
all right so for this part of the video it's towards the end uh this is more of like the mastery type you know part of the video once again i did get this uh, idea from swarly so if you want to check out his video or his channel it will be in the description uh i mean he's relatively big so it's not like you know a lot of people don't know who he is but um so right here um i have favorable matchups for virgo i also will do unfavorable uh metal sets and how to with the skills so uh if you do want to use them uh you can figure out you know how to uh you know use them properly but for the favorable matchups obviously logias are the main thing um you know any mace any ace character smokers um akainu sabo those guys you'll have an advantage towards them because like i said in the beginning of the video uh you have that trait when you take their dodge plus you heal and you have a damage increase i believe it was was it like 30 percent uh when you're attacking those characters so even you know when they're when your type is advantage like against um uh akainu or, or sabo he, he'll do very very well uh, but I think that's kind of about it. Uh, some blues are also pretty easy to fight. Uh, Luffy is a really good one. Those like not too too tanky ones. Even Frankie, uh, he does really good against. Uh, during AVA, I did fight a couple of booster Frankies, and they're relatively easy uh, with him. But yeah, that's honestly about it for his favorable ones. Um, once again, it just it really depends on on how you're playing him. And then for his unfavorable matchups. Um, you know, his worst matchups slash iffy ones that are the one that I put here. Uh, my main, main ones, I don't want to put too, too much on the list. But uh, for sure, Roger is the main, main, you know, menace towards him. Because uh, his skill one does not stun him. It actually gives Roger a defense buff. So, you know, you're not exactly going to be doing that great against him. You can kill Roger, but it's just, you know, it's not going to be in your favor. Or favor as the, uh, as the you know, as, as I'm saying here. Uh, Zoro is another one that might be a little bit troublesome, especially with his hockey state, with his damage reduction, and then, uh, Raid Law, uh, is the worst, uh, one of the worst to fight. <laughs> I'll be honest, I kind of run away from him as well. Uh, it is hard to fight him, especially in his room, so that's just another thing to note as well. And last but not least, we have Kid. Uh, Kid is going to be very hard as well, especially in his treasure. Uh, he's not going to be taking too much damage, but once again, you can beat all these characters. It just, it really depends on, on on uh, like your play and how you're playing Virgo in general and then for the metal sets uh, I have a couple of sets uh, I probably put them up on the screen right about now uh, the main main one was obviously the one that I showcased today uh, the boa sisters slash boa attacker set that one is probably his best in my opinion you can also do uh, a trio dress rosa set so uh, you could do lucy bounce man and uh, Luffy, or you can do uh, without Lucy and put in Zora for more attack instead of having the HP on cap. Uh, another really good set is obviously, like I said, the, the Boa set, but also a scale one cooldown set. So like any of those type uh, sets are always really good. The uh, the Brawly slash Roger 8 set with uh, EX, uh, Kai, uh, not Kai, no, EX Roger, EX Shanks, and uh, V1 Old Ray. Uh, that's a very, very good set if you want to prioritize skill one. Um, if you want to prioritize skill 2, I do recommend also using the uh, event law. Uh, I think it's called the... It's not Shambles. It's... Uh, uh, what's the name? I can't remember the name, but it's him without the hat. It was in uh, Punk Hazard, the one I dropped with these characters. I'll probably put it up on the screen, like I said. Um, so it's that metal, the the event law, uh, event Beppo, and then another a heart pirate. So you could do, like, Oni Law for attack, or you can put... Uh, Wano Law for heals on kill, so that's just another thing to note as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's honestly about it. Uh, for the how-to for the skills, uh, you'll see exactly what I'll put. I'll put some gameplay while I talk about the skills. So how-to for the skills. So for skill 1, um, as you saw from the gameplay, uh, you can push the range on it. Preferably, if you get it close to range, you can hit, you can hit them twice. But uh, it's obviously a long-range skill as well. So for this one i tend to use it more as a long range skill and try to get a, a stun so that's just the main thing let them cap the flag and then you know you just shoot your your uh your skill one and then you know it's a free kill or, or free stun at, at that point uh so you can just kind of see here just like me just kind of like shooting the skill and uh you know just doing a lot of damage with that especially when it lingers and it hits them twice for skill two this one's a more like i guess more dependent on on how you're gonna play them um you have to aim for sure when you're doing the skill uh when you don't charge it or uh, charge it uh either way you can teleport with it so once again making sure you're aiming on the character uh tapping on the uh the logo or the the character's face on top of the screen the top right or top left depending on what side you're on for the team 
uh, aiming on the certain character that you want to fight. So, like, we'll say, like, I've been, like, I've talked about in, um, in the beginning, when you're on Drum Island, looking down from the side flag from either C or, or D, uh, you know, you can teleport down from the top where mid is. So, you know, just making sure you're aiming to where you're going to, and uh, you'll be good to go. If you've used uh, CP9 Luchi a couple of times, uh, it's kind of the same stick with his skill too. Teleport, it only hits once, uh, and it does massive damage because it ignores defense as well. Uh, when you charge it all the way, once again, same thing, it teleports, it just does more damage, knocks back, and ignores defense. Um, another, another thing to note as well, you can teleport across the river in uh, Arlong. I do that fairly, uh, you know, consistently, uh, since it's one of Virgo's, if not his best map, just because he can go around the, the, the map pretty easily. As a, even though he's an attacker, he's pretty quick on, on that map. So that's just another thing to note. And um, I think that's honestly about it. Um, once again, charge the skill. You ignore, you ignore defense. You knock back. The only problem with that part is if you're fighting Kid, like I talked about in the uh, unfavorable matchups, um, it's a double-edged sword because, yes, you ignore defense, and that's really good against Kid because he has a shit ton of damage reduction, but you're knocking him back, so he's going to get a heal. Same thing with Judge at that point. So that's just something else to like, really note um, or you know, something to, to write down. It's a... It's not exactly ideal, but um, yeah, that's just something else that you can do. But uh, yeah, I think with that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, ho hopefully this guide helps if you do want to pick up Virgo. Now is the time since uh, V2 Blackbeard is uh, quickly t arriving uh, sooner than we know. Uh, as of this recording, Jozu and Shiryu, or Shiryu, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I'm a I'm an American boy, so I, I don't talk like those foreigners. Oh, God, that was fucking cringe. <laughs> I don't talk like those peeps. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to call them how it is. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, you know, those guys coming out. Blackbeard's going to come out. This is a good time to pick this guy up since he has that trait that I've always been, you know, dick riding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Yo,